The day we're taking a look at these NFL matches, which are happening on Sunday, January 2, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Las Vegas Raiders vs Indianapolis Colts. The Raiders' success on the ground came against one of the better rush defenses in the league. This begs the question, were the Raiders earlier in the year not good in the running game because they aren't good at run blocking or because they did not call the plays at the right time and stick with the run long enough to make it work? All-world tight end Darren Waller is likely to return for this game, which completely changes how teams have to defend the Raiders' offense. Waller is a matchup nightmare who is too big for corners to cover and too fast for linebackers. He is a freakish athlete and draws multiple defenders to him, opening up the offense for other players. Waller averaged more than 5 receptions and 60 yards per game before the injury, with a per-catch average of 12 yards. The Raiders' offense is exceptionally generous to the opposition, has given the ball away 25 times, and has among the worst turnover differentials in the league at minus 9. The Colts haven't wasted any time establishing themselves as a Super Bowl contender, and even without Wentz, still have a game plan to find success. Taylor has established himself as an MVP candidate and shouldn't have any issues running all over a Las Vegas defense that is without their top two tacklers. For the Colts, Ellinger is plenty capable of finding success and given the progression of his wide receiving core of late, has some weapons at his disposal when he does have to make big plays. It also helps that COVID and injuries haven't impacted the defense terribly and the Raiders, even coming in on two losses, haven't lit up the scoreboard of late and could have trouble keeping pace with the Colts. Our first betting advice is to pick Colts minus 6. The Colts haven't wasted any time watching their offense grow and grow in production over the last few weeks. They rank 5th in points, scored and are 2nd in total rushing yards. Their ability to control the clock has worn away at opponents, as the second half has been their time to exert their fingerprints on the game. Having Wentz and a vastly improved receiving core has helped keep defenses honest, but potentially without Wentz, it'll be interesting to see how Las Vegas adjusts. Without Wentz, it'll be Sam Ellinger who stands in line to grab the start. The youngster has impressed in limited snaps, but shouldn't impact the Colts' game plan to be run heavy. In the end, the offense runs through Jonathan Taylor. Averaging over 100 rushing yards per game and over 20 receiving yards per game with 19 touchdowns. As a potential MVP candidate, he'll need a big game to overcome the loss of Wentz. Our second betting advice is to pick under 44.5. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. New York Giants vs Chicago Bears The New York Giants have been stagnant on the defensive side of the field as they are allowing 24.3 points per game thus far. In their previous game against the Philadelphia Eagles New York gave up 34 points on 324 total yards of offense, 194 passing, 130 rushing. The Giants forced the Eagles to go 5 of 13 on third down and did not get a fourth down conversion on their singular try. Philly was able to get big plays as they averaged 5.4 yards per play throughout the game. The Bears come in fresh off of an impressive win in Seattle last week and have the luxury of facing one of the league's most struggling teams in the Giants. The Giants not only are lacking quality and confidence, but are also lacking players. They have 40 players appearing on this week's injury report, and with more than half of those already ruled out, their depth is bound to take a massive hit. Beyond that, there doesn't seem to be any sign of offense given their quarterback issues, and going on the road against a stingy defense isn't a great matchup. For the Bears, while they've had their own set of struggles, they at least have more players available. Beyond that, their defense shouldn't have any issues slowing down the Giants. 
The largest advantage is on the ground though, where the bear's 8th ranked rushing offense takes on the giant's 26th ranked rushing defense. Their ability to move the ball with Montgomery and control the clock will be crucial to them finding the win. Our first betting advice is to pick Chicago Bears minus 6. The Bears have seen their offense take a step back despite draft fields in the first round, and while their ground game has been one of the league's best, their passing game has let them down. They rank 32nd in the league in passing offense and their inability to move the ball through the air has been one of their biggest issues this season. They only rank 27th in total offense and 28th in scoring, but taking on a depleted Giants defense might see a rise above those numbers. It'll be interesting to see who gets the snaps at quarterback in this one. As mentioned, Fields is questionable, but given the franchise's focus on his future health, it wouldn't come as a surprise to see him sit out Sunday's matchup. That would leave Dalton or Foles getting the snaps, with both having up and down seasons. David Montgomery is expected to have a heavy workload in this one, averaging nearly 65 yards per game on the ground. Considering how poor the Giants have been against the run this year, this is a clear avenue for the Bears to find success. Our second betting advice is to pick under 38. Tampa Bay Buccaneers vs New York Jets. Tampa Bay appears to be a very well-rounded football team. They average 29.5 points and 411.5 yards per game on offense and allow on average 20.8 points and 347.1 yards per game. They got shut out two weeks ago against the Saints but were riddled with injuries. Their injury problems have not improved much and they have 13 players on the injured reserver COVID list and three who are questionable. They are again going to have problems at wide receiver and running back again with most of their starters out. It will be a tough test in the next two weeks, but the bigger problem will be if they can get back healthy before the playoffs begin. The Bucks rebounded with a dominating 32-6 road win in Carolina last week. Tom Brady should be able to feast on a poor Jets pass defense. They are squandering an average of 250 passing yards per game, landing them 28th in the NFL. While Levins and Goodwin are out, the Bucks have proven threats in Antonio Brown and Rob Gronkowski. Furthermore, the Jets' offense is not going to be able to score enough to keep this one close. They have scored 21 or fewer points in five out of their last seven games. Zach Wilson is having a poor rookie season and only has one touchdown pass in his last three games. It doesn't help New York could be without its top three WRs. Our first betting advice is to pick Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus 13. The New York Jets enter this one with momentum. New York was tabbed 2.5 point favorites in a narrow 26 21 home win over the Jaguars last week for their fourth win of the season. The victory slashed a three game slide. The Jets are displaying some improvement, but the defense is often exploited. The squad has now covered the spread in three out of their last five games. Zach Wilson is having trouble in his first season in the NFL. The second overall pick was tossing a ton of interceptions early in the season, but has been more efficient, going three consecutive games without an interception. Wilson has tallied 2013 passing yards accompanied by a 7-11 TD to int ratio. Jets rushing leader Michael Carter registered his best performance of the season last week. The 22-year-old rookie RB amassed a remarkable 118 yards and has now posted 566 rushing yards on the year. The Tampa Bay defense has been tremendous in back-to-back -back performances, allowing a total of only 15 points. The pass defense can be solved, ranking 21st in the league which is countered by a stellar rush defense that stands third. The Buccaneers are averaging 29.5 points on the season, landing them second in the entire NFL. They are conceding an average of only 20.8 points, placing them ninth overall. Our second betting advice is to pick under 